they practice scales and facial expressions while getting pointers on stage presentation. You could use that. You could use the swingy. Look and listen closely. You just might be seeing the next stars on Broadway by way of Cabarrus County. They're theater students at Northwest Cabarrus, and this is their spring production of Once Upon a Mattress, the story from A Princess and the Pea. Okay, so that's a lot of pressure, but we can stop and fix things anyway, because this is a rehearsal, right? All of this under the tutelage of an award-winning teacher instructor, Andy Rassler. They get me more passionate about what I'm doing because they're so passionate about what they're doing. A production like this illustrates all the support even veteran arts teachers need. And in Cabarrus County, the arts are getting that support on a whole new level as one of their own. Someone who clearly understands now oversees the program. And then the heavens opened up and Bart showed up and um, really anything that I've asked for, he has worked really hard to make it happen for the students. There's a definite difference when you have a dog in the fight per se or a voice in, at the table, if you will, when it comes to, to talking about your particular specialty area. The Bart she's referring to is Bart Tolbert, the newly installed fine arts coordinator for Cabarrus County Schools. His assignment, meet the needs of 122 teachers from chorus to theater to art and music all across 36 schools. Ironically, the former band director's dream job happened after he was given disheartening health news. Was interested in pursuing arts administration once I had you know, finished my classroom teaching career, but um, that was advanced a little bit due to a hearing loss disorder. His hearing may have been impacted, but certainly not his passion and dedication to the arts. Cabarrus County is a growing district with multiple fine arts programs, and it needed someone to pull it all together and be the voice for the educators and their needs. It was an academic calling Bart had prayed for. When it comes to to advocating for funding for a particular project, a particular event, a particular piece of, of um, musical equipment, a new kiln perhaps for, a, for an art classroom for a school. You know, those are conversations that I can now have on their behalf. His conversations with teachers gives him the feedback that's needed to strengthen programs and fill in the gaps. And usually our PD sessions are for social studies and math and English. And this one was specific to theater arts. And I thought um, that we got a lot out of it. Come from the land of the foggy, foggy dew. It all means Andy Rassler can devote more time to students, which makes a major impact on these budding thespians. I've gotten the chance to take beautiful musical theater classes here where there's sort of like a mentor relationship between proficient students and beginner students. And being able to see like people step out of their comfort zone and do something that is totally wacko for them. We're just entertaining people. That's what we're here for. That's what you guys are great at. I think that all students should be involved in the arts just because it's something that's so freeing and it lets you experience so many things but for us to be funded and us to have that opportunity is is truly astounding it's that arts aha moment that bart tolbert strives for we've got such fantastic teachers in our arts curriculum areas and the students gravitate towards that they have a, a yearning and a hunger for that kind of education and it makes them better people it makes them smarter people so with practice, we have an opening for a princess, for a beautiful bonafide princess. Some princess musical accompaniment. If the glove contains your hand. And the blessing of their theater knight in armor. The goal of your school administrators is to really serve your teachers and serve your students. It would appear Cabarrus County School Fine Arts can take a bow. Enjoy the show. Such simple words that represent so much work, so much effort, and taking musical theater in Cabarrus County to a whole new level. For Carolina Impact, I'm B. Thompson.